So the way this talk is going to run is as follows. We're going to start with the complex quaternions. And we're going to see that they give Lorentzian degrees of freedom, so things like spin and chirality. And then we're going to look at the complex octonions. And we're going to find that these give other internal degrees of freedom, so things like color and electric charge. So we're going to start with the complex quaternions, and we're going to find that they give a faithful representation of a Clifford algebra. And once we have a Clifford algebra, we're pretty much home free, because from here we know how to build spinners. So we're going to use a spinner construction, and we're going to find that we get left and right-handed vial spinners. And then we're going to repeat the process, this time using the complex octonions. So we're going to find that they give, that they lead to a Clifford algebra. And then we're going to use the same spinner construction as before, except this time what are we going to get? Well, the idea is that this time we're going to get quarks and leptons. process, we're going to be able to introduce a new electric charge operator, Q. This Q is special because it's going to offer us a straightforward explanation as to why electric charge is quantized. Okay, so just to summarize, we're going to start with these algebras. We're going to see that they lead to Clifford algebras. And then we're going to use a spinner construction. In this case, we're going to find that we get left and right-handed vial spinners. And in this case, we're going to find that we get one full generation of quarks and leptons under SU3 cross U1.